What's up, guys? How's it going? Duck fans. This is going to be a video that I think not a lot of people are expecting me to make. Especially some people that know me off the channel. They're, they might expect this because of how we've talked in the past few days since the game and during the game. We got our shit pushed in by Wazoo. There is no ifs, ands, or buts. We got dominated by Wazoo. We got absolutely ramrodded by them in the first half. 27 to nothing by a team that, let's be honest, even though they've had some decent games and some decent wins, hasn't had all that much success. They haven't really won much. And I mean, granted, neither has Oregon in the last, you know, five years. But Jesus, we got our shit pushed in by them. We didn't fight a close game and this and moral fucking victories. Shit, I don't want to hear it. That is a, <clears throat> that is a game you cannot ex expletive. You cannot come out flat in. And what did we fucking do? Came out flat as hell. Period. And if you don't want to admit that, then I'm sorry. You're not ready. We came out flatter, flatter than flat at, for a huge game. Huge game. And we came out flat. So, we had to mount a serious comeback in the second half. And did we almost do it? Sure, we almost did it. You can only ask the defense to do so much in a half. And they allowed a touchdown when they absolutely, 1,000% could not allow a touchdown. It's not, the, I mean, it's kind of the defense's fault. They allowed 27 points in the first half. We get one stop, who knows. It's kind of the offense's fault. They get a score in the first half, who the fuck knows. So this one, I'm putting on the coaches. Because I didn't see the players you know, go out there and, you know, granted, 27 nothing in the first half, there's some life execution there, obviously. But, God damn, 27 to nothing in the first half? Oh, fucking hell, dude. And it could have been worse if it wasn't for the Leonor lucky pick. It could have been 35 to nothing. Absolute disgraceful performance we were not ready for that game period we were not ready for that game they were ready for that game they had two weeks to prepare they had all the hype in the world and they won the fucking game I would love to be sitting at 6-1 and one right now I would love to be sitting at 6-1 and one, but that didn't fucking happen the team, the team got let down. It's, it's okay. It happens. It happens in a season. It just sucks that it happens every year now for us. <sighs> After the Washington win, you're like, oh boy, man, 11 and 1. 11 and fucking 1. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? And then game day, and it's like, holy shit, the, the, the pirate of the Palouse got us. Okay. All right. I can be mad, though, as a Duck fan about that, all right? Ain't nobody going to sit on here. Y'all know who you are. Y'all know who you are. Ain't nobody going to sit on here and tell me how I'm going to feel some type of way about a W that we should have had. Let's just all be real. We should have had that W. We should be 6-1 and one right now. Hell, we should be undefeated right now. But that didn't fucking happen, Stanford. So ain't nobody going to sit on here and tell me how to feel about my team. Do I love my team? Yes. Do I love my coaching staff? Yes. Could we be playing better? Absolutely, we could be playing better right now. We could be undefeated, but it is what it is. So I'm going to still support Crystal Ball, but I also, as a fan, have the right to call out some bullshit. And Saturday was bullshit. Sorry, not sorry. That was some bullshit. 
and I know bullshit when I see bullshit. And that was some bullshit. You go out and you beat a top 10 ball club and then you lay a zero, not three points, not 10 points, a zero on the board for the first half against a team that honestly really, they, they, it was just what won that, them yet, that game? Game day. Game day and the hype won them that game. Cool. Dope. Use it. Go with it, Wazoo. Win the fuck out of the rest of your games. We're not winning the North. No way. All these other guys, oh, we need this to happen. We need this to happen. Fuck it. We're not winning the North. We had our chance to win the North last night. Saturday. It didn't happen. It's okay. It's all right. Oh, and this Herbert coming back thing, I will believe it when I see it. I will. Dude's going to be a top five pick. Maybe number one. You want to turn down number one? You want to turn down top five? Okay. I'm going to call you out on that too because I think that's a dumb decision. If he really is top five projected, because who knows where he's going to fall, you know, at the end of the year, blah, blah, blah. And who knows who's going to have the picks, blah, blah, blah. If he really is top five, hell, even if he's top ten projected, you really want to burn all that for one year? Okay, Justin. All right, bro. But I will believe it when I see it. Um... Yeah, this Saturday, it pissed me off so much to watch just the the lack of effort on that defense. It was just mind-boggling. No pass rush, zero pass rush. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe the lack of a pass rush. Even when we brought five guys, no rush. And then someone's wide the fuck open in the back. Cross the middle, wide the hell open. Leech has our number, bro. Leech just has our number, and it's cool. It's cool. Fucking A. All right. Whatever, man. So, yeah. We lost to Wazoo. Five and two. Move on to Arizona. Pray to God you beat Arizona, because Utah ain't going to be a gimme. And you got... US, UCLA, ASU, and Oregon State after those two. Um, so you got to beat Arizona on the road. You got to go home and play chip, get an emotional win there. Then you got to go on the road to Utah and Rice Eccles. Again, not an easy place to play. Then you come home for uh, ASU and Oregon State on the road. <sighs> Is it weird that I count like Oregon State as a home game? But um, yeah, so no more losses. No more. You are. If we lose another game and go nine and three, I I will go through the roof because this is this is a good ball club here. This is a good ball club. Ten and two is at worst what we should be riding right now. Honestly, you beat the Beavers, you beat UCLA, then you got and ASU. They gave Stanford a run, so who knows? Thank God we have them at home. Um, but yeah. Got to figure it out. Got to figure something out. It didn't work. Whatever we had planned for Wazoo didn't fucking work. So scrap that bullshit. <sighs> Everyone's kind of calling for Arroyo. And honestly, I'm not mad at Arroyo. Honestly. I wish he would run Justin a little bit more in the red zone. But that's about it. Um, I don't really... I. <laughs> who else are you going to hire? That's my question. To you, all you who want Arroyo out, who are you going to hire? Who? Okay. I mean, if you have a good option, I'll, I'll let's do it in the comment section. <sighs> but yeah, no. No. I'm allowed to be pissed off at my team and my coaches when I see lack of effort, lack of execution, and playing in a way where I know we can play better and win that ball game. I'm allowed to call people out. And y'all know who I'm talking to right now. So as always, guys, go Ducks and beat the Wildcats. I'll have a preview of that coming up on Wednesday. So y'all enjoy this one, as I'm sure you will. And y'all have a good one.